what's up everyone welcome to week 30 so this week i felt the need to communicate back to you the importance of a good supervisor during your phd Actually, really really important to have a very good supervisor I'm very lucky I have said this many times before but I would like to repeat that uh, I have really good supervisors like two professors and one assistant professor who is my daily supervisor although I have like two professors which is rare, very uncommon here uh, they are generally called the promoters still both of them give their time depending on their availability and most of the times on every thursday in a week we have the phd meetings where we discuss all our problems and everything and they also try to uh, bring together other external parties or maybe some of the contacts which they have in their universities because both of my promoters are half of the time in the university that i'm working and half of the time one of them is in germany and one of them is in tu delft so we have a lot of other network which helps a lot when you are conducting experiments or you are struggling with a certain phase of your phd where they can bring about this kind of networking which helps you to interact and communicate and proceed further so why i said this is because i if you have checked my video check my week 28 video i think uh, i was preparing for the journal and at that time i started to combine my previously rejected conference works and this time i just submitted a first draft of the journal to one of my supervisors the professor who works both in tu delft and here and he gave nice constructive feedback it's like when you discuss with them because they have so much rich experience they can know what you cannot see like it, it, it is because of the experience so it's like sometimes certain terms you are always seeing the same thing again and again because you have brought about that framework or that uh, concept or that table or that figure but when a third eye or a third person who has never seen that work or maybe they have seen it but they might be experienced to know if this will be good for a unknown reader when he reads it so that's what he said like some of the terminology that i used in my journal the draft of the journal which i will submit in coming two weeks or three weeks were not that uh, accurate uh, it was kind of confusing i could not feel that or i could not think about that unless he made some uh, examples why they sound very dubious or maybe you can say like very uh, double meaning like it doesn't make clear sense when someone reads it for the first time then i tried to think about it again and he also referred to some of his previous publications which were really very similar to the work that i was doing the modeling that i wanted to do is very very similar to the model he built in some other context so what i did was i reread uh, my work and try to find the conceptual flaws and the terminology that he pointed out and i also read some of his articles two or three articles and tried to see whether that model is really fitting in my context and then i saw that yes it makes sense it makes sense that uh, this is uh, relevant for me uh, so then i thought like okay that's important so that's the thing like unless you have a good supervisor these kind of things cannot be pointed out so uh, you should always have a good relationship with a supervisor and you should be open and you should bring about these kind of discussions even if he doesn't point out if you feel that this might be something very shady or maybe gray which you are not sure if it is solid enough to be sent for publications then have an open discussion open chat with your supervisor or your supervising team depending on their availability so nowadays nothing is impossible so you should have these kind of open discussions and i felt this very much i have been feeling this for every week uh, the importance of a good supervisor but i just thought like why not 
uh, say something about this to my audience who are or maybe already doing a PhD. So see you with a fresh new experience next week. Peace.